welcome. We are here today again, continuing Vegas Week. Vegas Week. There is so much things to do here. I mean, I literally, it's, it's non-stop action. So we are going to hop around some of the hotels, try some new restaurants, different things. We're going to see what we can find. Never been here before. It's our first time. And um, we figured we'd start out with the uh, Aria right behind us. We hear a lot of good things about it. So let's go. Well, so far, I, uh, I'm digging the Aria Hotel. It looks pretty nice. What do you think about it so far, just in the outside? Uh, it looks fancier, like even the ground is fancy. Yeah, it looks fancy. All I know is that she's been watching a bunch of TikToks about this particular hotel, so. It says there's MGM rewards here, so I guess this is an MGM hotel? Ooh, wow. Fancy. This actually is a really nice lobby. Huh. I, don't, I guess this is a fall display here because there's like a bunch of acorns and like leaves that have changed colors and there's some sort of like, I don't know what that is, some sort of like little greenhouse thing. Yeah, I don't know, some sort of greenhouse, like snacks. It looks like there's like desserts and stuff in there. And we have the uh, casino floor, literally as soon as you walk in. Most of the hotels, I feel like it's it's like this. The casino is literally front and center, of course. Yeah, this is a bougie hotel. We wanted to come over here first because I think there's a giant um, shopping center that's attached to this particular resort. And uh, they have some restaurants in here that we might try. So, oh, there's that catch restaurant. that Candy was talking about that restaurant, Catch. And there's a cathedral, cathedral, and Julian Serrano tapas. Yeah, this is. Oh yeah, I see over there through the window the shops at Crystals, a Simon Center or something like that. Wow, yeah, this is really nice. This is a very nice hotel, very bougie. It's probably the bougiest one I feel like we've walked into just so far fairly big casino here so there is a big shopping center here connected to the Aria let's check it out shops at crystals it's a big mall so it feels, doesn't it feel like empty and quiet? Is it because it's so expensive? I don't think there's any normal malls in, in Vegas, no. They're all bougie. Although, didn't we, we passed by one that had Dillard's. I think it was over by like maybe Caesars or something. I don't know. This is, yeah, Versace, Louis Vuitton, Burberry. I mean, it's a little bit out of our price range. Ultra bougie stores. Chanel. Oh, that up there. I saw Mickey Mouse upstairs. I don't know what that is. I see Princess Diana, a tribute. Yeah, I don't know, there's Mickey Mouse up there. I don't know what that is. Look at those water things down there. It's like little tornadoes. Mm, those are neat. Yeah, there's uh, a lot here. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Check that out. I don't know what that is. A restaurant, maybe? It says Mastro's Ocean Club. Looks cool. A lot of people over there though so i don't know if it's that good all right well that mall was definitely not nice not our speed at all that was that was not for us so we're back out little street performer over here doing his thing there's the museum of illusions oh welcome to las vegas 
store. Tex-Mex Tequila Bar and Grill. I thought I saw a Planet Hollywood Hotel last time we were over here. For some reason I was thinking maybe it was Hard Rock because I think there's also a Hard Rock, but I was thinking Planet Hollywood didn't sound right, but there's definitely a Planet Hollywood Hotel. Hmm. Yeah, there's the Museum of Illusions, I guess. We have one of those in Orlando, though, so on uh, International Drive, Icon Park area. So I think I'm good. I, don't, I think I'm good. I don't need to see that. Ooh, that's kind of a cool nightclub up there. It says nightclub and day club. Doesn't that kind of look like a yacht? Yeah. Like a big boat or something? It's kind of cool. So we saw the Miracle Mile shops the last time we walked by here, but we didn't go in. So I want to go in this time and see if there's anything over here. Maybe this would be less bougie than that other mall we just walked through. One thing's for sure, it's not less smoky in here. Man, you cannot get away from the smoke. So I guess that's it. That's what you get in Vegas. Okay, so I see a casino. And some food. Earl a sandwich. Disney Springs. All right, well, this, this mall over here is definitely less bougie than the last one we were in, you know? Uh, it's, it, oh my gosh, I see a Chipotle sign. There's literally a Chipotle in here. Oh, Chipotle sounds so good, but I'm not going to get hit. I am not eating Chipotle in Las Vegas. I can get that anytime I want, so. But uh, it's definitely uh, less, uh, less bougie here. Hey, they have a guest store. Oh my gosh, they have Garrett's popcorn. It's so good. If you've never had Garrett's, I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. Garrett's mix is my favorite, which is cheesy popcorn and caramel popcorn at the same time, which sounds really weird and not good, but I promise you, it's delicious. Hey, what's this? This is kind of cool. This reminds me of the uh, Caesar's Palace uh, area. Also kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know why. Flights by Alex Holt. Oh wow, this is cool. Hey, check this out, that's kind of neat. What is all this? Well, this is a cool area, I don't know what this is. I see the V Theater. Mentalist, zombie burlesque, variety show, Elton John, I don't know, all kind of stuff. I don't know what this is, I guess I guess it's a theater. La Salsa Cantina. Yeah, this is a neat area, I like this. Whoa, there's like a whole boat up there. Check that out. What? That's so cool. This is neat. I just like this like inside thing they're trying to do with these places. It's pretty cool. Inside, outside. Like you're outside. You're inside, but it seems like you're outside. Pretty neat. All right, Planet Hollywood uh, Hotel Casino. You excited? I don't know. We'll see. So far, it looks the same as the other ones. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Plan Hollywood. The only thing I knew Plan Hollywood was was a restaurant. I only knew it was a restaurant. I had no clue that there was a casino. Oh, Chris Angel uh, Mind Freak is in this hotel, it looks like. You see a big advertisement for it right there. Looks like Miranda Lambert's here, Keith Urban, Gordon Ramsay's burger joint is here too. So uh, that's interesting. Huh. Ooh, Cafe Hollywood. That looks kind of cool.
Well, I think we found Gordon Ramsay's burger bar, and I also found a giant line of people waiting to get into it. Looks kind of cool, though. It's got like fire in that glass wall. Hmm. Is it even good? All right, we're back outside, finally. Um, I feel like we were in like a mall for a long time. I was ready to get back outside to the action. I don't know, there's a bunch of people dancing right there. I don't know why, just for dancing, I guess. I'm not really sure. Oh, we're coming up on the Paris Hotel. I want to check that out. Oh, I see Pennywise down here. Oh, I see Darth Vader. Oh, and I see... Mickey Mouse! I guess you could call him that. And that Mickey Mouse has his head off. Oh, he did. And I see, I see a really weird Spider-Man. There's a lot of people here in costumes. Look at Pennywise. Weird. I know how that picture racket goes. Like, they're like, Hey, you want to get a quick pick with us? With the Spider-Man or Mickey? And you're like, oh, sure, let's do it. And then what happens? They ask for money. They're like, give me my money. Now. Nah. Oh, look. I see the uh, Arc de Triomphe, which is a Paris staple if you've ever been to Paris. And I see the Eiffel Tower. I've actually seen the Arc de Triomphe. I've seen the Eiffel Tower in person. But now we're going to go to the hotel. I have to say, I really like the architecture. It does actually feel France to me. Like with all the like stone, the columns and everything. It looks pretty cool. What's this? Daiquiris? I'm good. I know there's a very popular uh, restaurant there, the Eiffel Tower. You can see the like windows up there. Um, supposedly it's really good. Let's go in. I want to check out this casino. We're going into the Eiffel Tower. It looks a lot. Do you think that's as big as the Eiffel Tower at Kings Island? What do you think? I don't know. It might be bigger. It does look really big from down here. I'm not going to lie. It, I feel like, don't you feel like when we were far away, it didn't look very big? But now that we're under it, like, it looks really big. Huh. Well, let's go in. Oh, cool. Another one of these, like, indoor sky things. Oh, look, and it has, like, Eiffel Tower legs coming down through the ceiling. That's pretty cool. I like this. This is neat. Big six wheel. Oh, they got DJs and stuff spinning up here for all the people that are playing, uh, I guess, Baccarat, Blackjack, Roulette, little like digital versions of it. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know, Candy's leading me over this way. She said, come look at this. Oh, it's cute. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast for some reason. I guess maybe they have, oh, it says Le Cabaret. Some sort of cabaret show goes on there. This is super cute. Got a little people in the window. It reminds me of, Re it reminds me of Remy's Ratatouille adventure. A little bit. It's super cute in here. There's actually a lot of restaurants in this hotel too, I'm seeing. nice in here. I see they have a Vanderpump à Paris. There's the Gordon Ramsay's Steak restaurant. I'm sure it's uh, pretty expensive there, pretty bougie. We got the king right here, Elvis. The king. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but this is like a little like, I don't know. There's lots of little like small little shops and restaurants. So there's like a bubble tea spot right here. 
Um, I don't know. Dirt dog. I don't know what dirt dog is. Los Angeles street food. Huh. This is an interesting little area. Dirt dog bar. This is the fuel bar. See Wahlburgers. There's a few Wahlburgers down here in Vegas, actually. Fat Tuesday. Yeah, it's just like these little like strip here, like little like shops that line up the, those little hallways. Huh. It's an interesting little spot, actually. I see Redneck Riviera. I don't know what that is. We're at the Horseshoe, apparently. I'm guessing Horseshoe is a casino. Sounds familiar to me. I see Giordano's, which we have that in Florida. So Dave's Hot Chicken, Bourbon Parade. I don't know. A bunch of little things here. It's Sugar, Duck Donuts. What's that up there? Margaritaville. Huh. Okay, yeah, the Horseshoe Casino. Okay. What did you think of that uh, little area we just went through? <laughs> That's kind of weird, right? It was like it was like half dodgy and half not dodgy. I don't know how to explain it. It was like weird. I don't know. I feel. Are we like getting into like old? I don't know if we're getting into like the old Vegas area, like the older stuff. Even just this like walkway we're on to get to this hotel. It's not the best. I don't know. I'm not sure. Sure, how much I like this, this area right here. Well, let's check it out anyway. Horseshoe. And it smells like a bowling alley. As soon as we step foot in here. Overload of the senses in not a good way. Looks like we made it to the main casino area. Hall of Fame poker room. Okay, it's pretty nice up here, in here. I think we just came in a weird entrance. It just seemed odd, but I mean, there's like a main entrance right here, so. Wow. So apparently downstairs at the Horseshoe, there is a mall. So we've now walked back into a mall. <laughs> this is, look, the Cabinet of Curiosities. It says there's a monorail down here. I wonder where that goes. Yeah, like we're literally in a mall again. Look, there's a dino safari. Start your adventure here. I feel like that's not going to be the best, but... I don't know, maybe. Ooh, wait, what's this? Twilight Zone Tower... Or no, Twilight Zone Monster Mini Golf. And there's, I don't know what that is, it's like mini bowling alley? Pretty funny to me that the bowling alley smells less like a bowling alley. Dude, check out that monster mini golf. It's like huge. It's a little like indoor golf thing, that's pretty cool. This Giordano's is actually really cool. I, uh... I don't think I've ever seen a Giordano's like this. They've got like live music going on in there. It's pretty neat. <laughs> hey, here's Duck Donuts. These are uh, fairly famous donut places, but I've had them before. They're okay. They're not my favorite donuts. A bumblebee. Got a giant gorilla. They got a bumblebee right here. They've got. Uh, Spider-Man and Jack Sparrow. That's where Pip the Magic Dragon also performs. If you ever watched America's Got Talent, you probably saw Pip the Magic Dragon. He's actually pretty funny. We uh, 
We thought about getting tickets for him, but uh, we ended up getting a couple other tickets for different things. There's a motorcycle cop over there. There's Harris Hotel Casino. It's one of the oldest. In the top 10 of the oldest casinos here on the strip is still, still in existence. Car, oh, we got, we got another uh, bumblebee up here, another giant monkey gorilla. I don't know why I said monkey, it's a gorilla, but whatever. Hey, check this out. Pizza Cake by Buddy Velastro. Apparently he makes pizza as well. This area is kind of interesting, it's got like a Almost like a, I don't know, not Bourbon Street feel, but it's got like all these little like buildings and stuff right here. It's all part of the Casino Royale. Um, it's like all these storefronts here. It's kind of neat. And there's a lot of stuff happening here. All right, so we just entered the Venetian Hotel and Casino, but I'm afraid that's gonna have to wait for another episode because there's just too much action packed into this one. So uh, I am extremely excited for this hotel. Yes. It, I mean, just you're getting a glimpse of it in the background right now. I mean, it's phenomenal. I cannot wait to show you this place. It's awesome. So be sure to tune in again on our next episode. It is going to be wild. It's going to be awesome. I mean, this place is phenomenal. But Aria Hotel was pretty nice. I think that for me, I think that was the nicest hotel nice. we saw today. Super nice, um, a lot of great places to eat. I have to say I have one complaint about Las Vegas. There's too many places to choose from to eat. Way too many. <laughs> I mean, it is literally impossible to figure out where to eat. And I will say, and we haven't videoed everything we've eaten here. Everything I've eaten in, since I've been in Vegas has been phenomenal. Yeah. And I'm not kidding, I, I don't say those things lightly. Usually, I mean, we go to Disney and we're like, eh, it was okay. Everything I've eaten since I've been here is phenomenal. I haven't had a bad one yet, folks, so I mean, probably will, but we haven't had one yet, so overall, it's awesome. What do you think? What'd you think of today? The hotels, good? Uh, yeah, they were pretty. The Aria was my favorite. It was the nicest. I think it was the nicest of the, all the ones we've seen. I don't know. I have to think about that. I feel like overall, it just seemed like yeah. the most. I don't know, maybe not. There's some really cool ones. So anyway, I think that's it for us. So we're going to call it a day. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in again next time. Until we see you then, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.